Welcome to the second part of my video with my rose fire bracelet. So on the first part, even though it took long, we only had time to do the, the to make the, the knot on my leather bracelet that we're making, macrame leather bracelet. And we did the accents, but now we're going to do the body. So I'm going to kind of rotate here. I'm using the purple amethyst, which the purple amethyst is highly calming. It's a stone that knows how to soothe and bring, back, bring you back to your spiritual well-being. And it also helps you center, like, like your, with your tension. It helps you deal with the tension, insomnia, anxiety, and other negative thoughts. So that's good. That's what the amethyst does. This is just the rosemary bead. It is just really, I mean, I keep saying rosemary. It's not rosemary. It's a rosary bead. I want to rename it rosemary, obviously. And so, it, as its name goes, it is for the rosary. That's what I originally bought it for, but obviously I'm not going to use all of the beads for the rosary. So, I'm using some of it for my jewelry. I also bought um, a new filming device so that I'm not backwards. So that's pretty cool. So as you know, we are going to use these two this is the um, silk cord. <laughs> you do it, you're like, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Has the ah, shit. needle at the end. And then we're going to use two strings, actually. And here's the other string with the silk cord. And we're going to put the beads in one way with the needle. Let's get this threaded. And then we're going to, oh geez, as soon as I could get this in there, okay. Then we're going to use the opposite needle and thread it through the opposite way. There we go. Thread it through the opposite way. And then we're just going to pull the strings. I don't like to pull them together because they tend to knot. So this uh, cord string is long. I'm not cutting it because I want the needles to stay on the end for other projects. So I'm just going to pull the right side cord first. Kind of switch over to the left side. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's Stick with the right side. Let's just finish that up because it's, uh oh, it's pulling it the wrong way. Okay, there we go. It's holding it still. Pull it through. I also bought some lighting so that I don't have to move my lighting everywhere. Okay, so here we go. So this weekend is my granddaughter's. 10th birthday she's in double digits again we want to pull this silk cord under the leather cord pull it through you always want to do that before you start uh, putting any beads in because otherwise your work will not stay okay so I'm going to use I'm going to use the rosary bead my rose fire bead I call my fire bead and I'm going to use the rose quartz so the rose quartz the zodiac sign is Taurus and this is for unconditional love it boosts feelings of self-love and fosters relationship with others and then we're going to use this other core or other needle push it through both of them there we go and again we're going to pull it through 
So anyway, my granddaughter is turning double digits. She's turning 10. Her party is this weekend. So we're all excited about that. Goodbye single digits. And then all the birthday birthdays that are coming because then it's my daughter's birthday in October. And then my grandson's birthday in December. And then we've got Christmas as well. So that's going to wrap it up for this year with the birthdays. Okay, just look at I'm not used to this. Okay. So let's get this thread again. So I'm using purple amethyst, pink, rose quartz, the rosary beads. Look at that. I like that already. So I'm going to use. the amethyst and the rosary bead. I made some rosary bracelets in my earlier videos as well. I think I'm going to make more because I like the way those came out as well. Right now I'm doing using the bead alon. It's also called macrame that you can do macrame with this is which is what we're doing also called macrame i like doing this so you can do this so in part one there were some friends over and the little girl that was here was in my space going round and round yelling i think she wanted to be on the video but there's a better way to be on the video rather than the screams so, next time she comes over, I'll probably ask, do you want to try this? And then we'll have a little young guest doing some beating with us. Okay, there's that. Perfect. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, my gosh. This is coming out pretty. We always want to put the silk cord under and over the leather. Otherwise, your work will not stay. It will fall apart. You want to do that on the other side as well. Okay. There we go. That makes a difference, huh? <laughs> All right. So, a lot of things have been happening in my life. A lot of changes. And I wouldn't say there, I wouldn't say any bad changes, but changes nevertheless. So the grandkids have started school, so goodbye summer. I think they were ready for school because they were starting to uh, get on each other's nerves, which always happens, I notice, towards the end of summer. I remember as a kid, we were the same way too. We were like bored with summer already, ready to do something. So I was always excited for school to start to see my friends as well. So I think they are too. And we want to pull this through, pull the other side through. So I'm glad school started, but my other granddaughter, Kara, had to go back to Virginia with her mama, because that's where they live, at Langley Air Force Base. And she just started school yesterday. These kids have been in school almost two weeks already here in Texas. Look at that. Oh man, I like that. Wow, it's looking so pretty. Let's go back to the amethyst. I don't know if I could get this all in here. Okay, so we've got the amethyst. Also, if you notice with this camera, it's not backwards. I'm not doing things backwards or upside down. It's the right way now, finally. So I'm happy about that too. Also, it's got some good lighting, and I bought some lights to help with my videos. I try to find a, a jewelry um, stand, you know, to do jewelry, but they just didn't have any. Because I needed the stand to be heavy enough so that it didn't flop over. So I actually looked under vegetable, like to cut vegetables for YouTube, and this is where I found this this stand so it's actually a vegetable cutting stand 
but it works well for my jewelry. Feel me. So I've got the lights here too. Oops. Some light. Okay. And I'll mess with the lights because I've got all kinds of lighting here. Oops. <laughs> I'm messing with the lights right now. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't, right? Right? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, Charlie Brown, okay. Okay, Charlie Brown, okay. There we go. Okay, okay, where was I? All right, pulling this through. I'm just excited about this all. So, let's go over here, pull the string. And pull this. Oh, Jesus. Try not to move the stand. If only I could, there we go. Concentrate on what I'm doing, stay focused. Don't forget to put it under. And over, under and over. We're gonna do the same pattern till the end. Okay, so I finished my beading, so it's all the way down. I rotated the rosary beads, but I was also going to rotate the amethyst and the rose quartz, but something happened and it didn't work out that way. So, I'm trying to get my lighting right here. Didn't work out that way. <laughs> so, I guess I was too worried about just getting the quartz. Um, or the rosemary. Sorry, this my, my light. I'm having technical difficulty here. I know, and I keep saying rosemary. I want to say it's not rosemary. It's my rosary, my rosary beat. But my light keeps falling down, so I don't like the locking mechanism on my new light. Anyway, so we're at the end. I've got all my beads here, and I'm going to do some some of my accents here. So we're gonna do the same thing we did on this side. We're gonna do four. So let's beat these four. Okay, there's one. Okay, so we've got, I've got my four, I'm pulling it through. My four glass accents. Let's pull this, and let's pull this one this way. So we're going to do the same thing. Four, three, two, one of the glass accent beads. Uh-oh. Done got myself knotted here. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do the next one. Don't forget to put the string, the, the um, silk cord under the leather on both sides under and over okay now let's thread three okay so i'm done with the three now let's do two let's do two okay so here's the two coming down okay to rest and uh oh you know what I didn't do, maybe? Because it looks strange to me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't follow my own rule. And I did not put the cord underneath the leather like this before I started. So I need to undo this. I gotta undo this and then do it right because it'll just fall right on out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I took it out. Let's put this under. <laughs> okay. And that's what happens because you could see that it looks strange. You know something's wrong. And that's what happened. Now, I put this under. Let's do this again. So we're going to put two glass beads. Let's get this done. Okay, now we're down to the last bead, one. Let's get this beaded. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and tie this. So we're going to tie it the same way that we tied the other side. So let's go ahead and tie it. Let's just tie it the regular way. Okay, we've got it. Let's tie it again. And don't worry, we're going to put glue on this to keep the, our knots from unraveling. Okay, and then we're going to undo this. Well, I guess I didn't have to take it all the way out, but I did. Okay. Let's put this wing nut back. Okay. Let's undo this one. Okay, let's put it back because I don't want to lose anything here. It's very important. Yes, it is. And then we're going to tie a knot at the very end. Oh, wait a minute. I got to put my got to put my shank button on here what so that we that? can close it. What's a shank button? A shank button? Yeah. It's this button. That's used for jeans, but it's called a shank button because this it's called a shank button because the hole is a lot bigger than a regular button. The leather is too big. I got some more. So let me tie this. Let me just do a regular knot here. I got like three beads. Just a regular knot. Here. I want to get as close to the bottom as possible. There you go. And let me see the shank button. Thank you, Mason. And we're going to put the shank button in through here. There we go. There's the shank button. I'm going to turn it around. And we're going to again put the knot, regular knot. as close to the this middle part the button itself there you go as close as possible watch out mason i need to get the scissors okay we're gonna get the scissors these terrible scissors that always pinch my finger okay, try. not yet honey now i'm just gonna cut these down and i'll cut them more but I want to want you to see the bracelet, how it is. Let me move this. Mason, you might need to come to bed with us. Okay. Okay, there's the bracelet. And then. Yeah, but once I start, can I go back? And then. Yes, I'll get you. My grandson. It's bedtime. And he always sleeps with me. And then I'll close like this. Jeez, I'm in a rush because I know it's bedtime and the kids are, well, it'll close. But here it is. Oh, here it is. There's the bracelet. Wow, it's so pretty. My wrist is a little small. This will actually go. I like it. It looks beautiful. But let's go ahead and get this glued because I want the knots to stay. So I'm using this Hypo GS Hypo Cement Glue. I like it because it's got the tip. See the tip? And it's very precise. 
get this out of there. Well, sometimes the glue sticks on there, but it's easy to pull. I like this because it's got the tip. You could put it back there. This is one that you could keep using over and over. The other ones with, with the different type of tips, um, to me, you can't use them again because once you put the lid on, that's it. So I'm going to generously apply this cement glue to our knot here. You want to apply it on both ends. Again, this is going to be the bottom of the bracelet so the people are not going to see the glue or the knots. And then I'll take the, um, I'll cut the strings off. And I'm not going to put glue on this one because it's knotted pretty well, but you could put glue on this one as well so the knot won't go anywhere there we go there we go this one's not going to go anywhere okay let me put the lid back on before this it does drip out fast so just be aware of that there we go Okay, so now this is done. I'm going to let it dry. You can wear this probably after uh, probably about 30 minutes, but it's still going to be a little gooey and stuff. But really, it takes about 24 hours for it to completely dry. And then you can absolutely wear the bracelet. So I'll go ahead and cut all these off. Or you could cut them off once the glue gets gummy. You could cut it off. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my gosh, these scissors always pinch me. I don't know why I use them. Okay, we'll cut that off. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we've got our beautiful bracelet. Tell me what you think about it. All right, have a good night. See you later. Bye.